feeling well doing good today we are going to look at the Kenworth W 900 L highway killer and this is produced by John Rhoda and take a detailed look at everything that this mod has but I could save you the trouble and just tell you to go ahead and buy it it is well worth it any of John Rhoda's work is fantastic totally totally awesome um, this is from his most recent update which is 4.0 and I'm going to show you here I'm going to scroll through real quick all of the new things that have been added in this 4.0 update I can tell you right now there's a tremendous amount of things that he has done to this truck um, as you can see here you can check these out pause the video I'm going to scroll through there. I'm not going to stop on each one and explain them because there is a ton of things. 45 new additions in update 4.0. Um, and as he explains down here, not all the options work with each other. So if you want the custom cable connectors at the back of the truck, you have to change the flooring type and or the bumper um, the mud flaps on the back are not compatible with all of the fender types because some fender types would replace um, your mud flaps but uh, we're gonna go through and take a look right now okay all right here is your Kenworth W 900 L highway killer produced by John Ruta the base model with a ton of ton of options cabin types currently in this 4.0 most current version as of today's date in uh, March 17th happy st. Patrick's Day by the way uh, you get one cabin type the aero cab sleeper chassis 6x4 standard, you get a 6x4 long frame, you get an 8x4 standard, and an 8x4 long frame. And I'm going to zip through some of these options real quick and then we'll come back and visit them again and go through and make some selections. Uh, but I want to show you uh, everything in general first. Engine types got a bunch to choose from. Uh, John Ruda is using uh, Creech Bomb engine sounds. Uh, the most current I think is 2.8 uh, but we will also go through at the end of the video and listen to a lot of these. Although as I have said in past videos the Cummins 444 444 horsepower is gonna sound the same as the 520 horsepower. Uh, same thing with all these. Uh, the 3406E 475 is going to sound the same as the 500 horsepower. M11, uh, where are we? 370 horsepower is going to sound the same as the 500 horsepower. So we'll go through and visit some of these, but we're not going to do every single one. Transmissions. Got a bunch to choose from here. Eaton Fuller's. Uh, 6 speed, 18 speeds, 10 speeds, and 13 speeds. Uh, they are with and without retarders. Interior. Got a couple of choices. As you can see here, the level of detail is second to none. I mean, this thing is well done. Uh, currently the red style 
uh, is the one that was available on all prior versions. Now you get a nice tan version in 4.0. Paint jobs. Let me tell you, John Ruta includes a custom skin pack with this mod. And there are a ton of custom skins. Many of them come, uh, I'll just show you here. So we'll choose this one. Number 10 comes where you can change the base color. So you'd get yellow flames and a white body. And then number 11 keeps the yellow flames and allows you to make, uh, let's see if I can show you this well, metallic skins. See that there? Okay. And we'll come back and look at these again later on. But there are a ton of them. Look as I scroll through here on the left. Sixty total skins for this truck. Sixty. Are you ready for this? Here we go, folks. You want accessories and options? Bam. There are a ton. And they are all very, very detailed, well done. We're going to come back and look at these as well. We'll go through them all. So you can see what each one does. And we're going to build up a, a nice truck here. Interior accessories. Here we go. Nice selection. And yes, you can change that shifter. Nice selection of interior details. And again, if you look here, everything is very, very very crisp and clean. Look at that. Pack hard decal on the window. Alright folks, if you are a member of my Patreon page uh, we're gonna go through now and we're gonna build up a nice truck and I'm gonna show you absolutely every one of those options in detail and what you will get if you are just watching this video on YouTube you're gonna have to check in the description for the link to my patron page and go on there and sign up uh, there's three different tiers you can uh, belong to and I promise the level of content on the page is well worth any of the um, different tiers. But these reviews take a long time to go through everything and that's why I've decided to um, go with the Patreon page and charge for them. Like I said, these just, just going through these to build the truck can take a long time, let alone the video editing and everything else. So. I'm sure there's some people that may not uh, be happy about that, but that's just the way it is. Sorry, but uh, like I said, if you want to see the rest of this video and see what you get with this truck, you got to go to the Patreon page and sign up and become a member. At least join for a month and see if you like the content. If you do not, um, that's cool, but I'm sure that you're going to be pleased with what you get for what you pay.